Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Yeah, nice full moon last night. Right. It was cool to look at. Anyway, let me show you what I'm up to today. Um, I told you guys that there was one of my big three flea markets um, yesterday. I, it, was, um, it was at the airport in um, Stormville part of East Fishkill, New York, uh, right on 216, right next to Greenhaven Prison, um, just to lay out the whole place for you. Anyway, um, and they call it the garage sale because they invite families to bring all their garage sale stuff. Um, there's more new stuff showing up there. By new stuff, we're talking socks. Deodorant, underwear, you know, boxes of, of just new stuff people are wholesaling out. And there's a few more vendors of um, people who do garage sale stuff, but they always do garage sale stuff at every flea market they go to. So there was a little more th of that than usual, but generally speaking, it was families who wanted to bring their stuff to a garage sale but did not want lunatics coming to their house. Um, and typically what makes this a really good deal is there's a lot of people who bring stuff there that are moving away. So once they load it on the truck, car, trailer, U-Haul, whatever they manage to bring it there in, they don't want to load it up and bring it back. And a lot of times when you pick up something, they'll tell you that. Make me an offer. I don't want to bring it home. So, um... This was an example of something that was there. Guy started at uh, 50 bucks on this, and I wasn't interested. And then he uh, opened it, and the top drawer opened, but the other drawers weren't open, and this lock was pushed in, and it wasn't supposed to be pushed in. So he sold it to me for 10 bucks. I like cabinets like this because the shallow drawers on top are pretty good for hand tools, and the deeper one on the bottom is good for stuff like circular saws right um that's my pile of exhaust systems i paid five bucks for the whole pile it's got um four real mufflers and then it's got two straight pipes um this is harley stuff um guy upgraded his exhaust system on his harley and then you know had this sit around in the basement and it got you know some little rust spots you guys by my foot there i think you guys could see the rust spot right so um he sold it for five bucks for all of it so i was very happy set of tires these tires with the uh studs sticking out of them and there's two aluminum rims and the tires came with rims though one of them's not mounted there's the rim for it that was 18 bucks for once again the two aluminum rims he got me for eight dollars for and the tires on rims he got me for ten dollars so 18 bucks the um golf cart tires uh the pair was 20 bucks um I, I was as I was buying these. I, w I I have to admit, I was I was thinking of uh, my buddy Calvin down there in Georgia. I picked up these two trail cams. See, it says five bucks. I gave her eight dollars for the pair of trail cams. So there's that. Baseball bats. They wanted two dollars for them, but I got the baseball bats and this trailer hitch. It has a two-inch ball. I need uh, one and seven eighths. But um, all of this was ten dollars. Um, this box of one size Allen keys was two dollars. All for two dollars. I don't know why I bought the entire box. But I figure if I ever need this size, now I own a complete horde of those. Uh, these lights, as a matter of fact, I have one over here lit up. Um, these are um, by IKEA. They uh, LED, so they clip on. I think you guys can see that. Um, you guys can see they plug into an adapter and uh, they clip on. I picked up um, 
the three of them. She wanted five bucks each. I gave her 12 bucks. They wanted three bucks for the CO2. I gave her two. This is um, Craftsman six point. Uh, he wanted seven. I gave him six. Um, I I paid less than fifty cents each for this. It's a uh, plug. Uh, male, female, but they, they happen to be really good ones, so, and then you go down the one dollar tools, right, this is Utica, I used to, when I was a, when I was a kid, I, uh, I carried one of these, uh, all through my, uh, college years on the end of a keychain, I used to walk around, the wrench would be in my pocket and the keys would, would hang out. So I, I carry, and particularly it was a Utica, just like, like this one. This size, Utica Tools USA. So I, I, all through college I carried that. Westline, this is an Armstrong. Um, Exolite, really good stuff. I, I always buy Exolite whenever I see it. Um, that one's a Williams, that one's a Proto. This is uh, Haybold, Haygold, Haycole, whatever, West Germany, 10 millimeter. A lot of times sockets like this come in real handy. Certain spark plugs are really tight, you know, the $1 saws. The punches, I actually paid less than a dollar for this. I think I paid the three of these were a buck. So I think that's everything over there. Going through these, um, I paid less than a buck each for this. I've, I just kind of like flicker lights, particularly in the winter. I mean, they came with batteries and all. So I paid less than a dollar each. I got five of them. Um, these are Christmas lanterns. And then a whole pile of Christmas bulbs. And some of you are going to say, don't you own enough of this crap already? And the answer is yes, I own more than enough crap. But um, one of my grandmothers always had the um, clear, these these bulbs are clearer than there's, um, the, the, the red is painted on, so translucent, let's say. Um... And I always like the red one. So I, I always like these. That happened to come from Ames. I always think it's interesting. Ames no longer exists. Um, they went out of business. Kmart. Kmart is now part of the whole Sears operation or vice versa. I'm not sure. But around me, they're about to suck wind. Anyway, all these Christmas lights, including these um, bigger guys, um, this was all $10. Um, this was $2. Coming up um, in here, this filter, and notice the way it clamps on here. Um, I think this is going to be real good for the Cushman, the Cushman pickup truck that's downstairs. And it came with a whole bag of Sharpie markers, real Sharpies. Um, I didn't check them all, but the three or four I checked were good. And they were eight bucks. Tom Tom GPS, I gave her ten dollars for that, not twelve. Um, the expensive thing was this Apple iPad. Um, I paid a hundred bucks for it. As a matter of fact, there was old Harvey's page right there. Um, as of last time I checked, I, I don't think this is hooked. Yeah, it's not hooked up. Um, to the internet, I, I can't get it from here, so it's just gonna grind, right? I don't, I don't think I could get the internet. But um, so that's, I got this, and like this is a 16 gig. This is, and then a pair of four gigs, and I got these pliers made in Germany. Um, and this was a hundred dollars. Uh, there's a guy that regularly comes to the flea market, these these particular flea markets, and um, and I like 
I, I, he, I always buy computers from him because all his computers are in really good shape. They really work. There are no viruses on them. There's no tracking. Um, he's a computer technician. He used to work for Pfizer. He just got a new job with somebody else. Um, anyway, this... Actually, I got this guy, right, the skull. It, it used to be booze. But I got the skull and the lanterns. And I... I I think I paid ten dollars for all of that. This, these are you know hippie things piece. This was part of the Christmas lights for ten dollars. All right. These are you know one dollar tools, a whole bag of Allen keys, a brush, you know chisels. This was a two dollar bag of sockets, but you know vice grip for a dollar. You know you can see the big one dollar sign here. Um, the two little clamps were a dollar, right? And then these were a buck each for the bigger clamps. The hammers were a buck each. And I think I think that's all of it. Uh, the chains, the chains were uh, two dollars each, right? You guys could see they go and around. So two chains, two dollars each. So that was five bucks. Anyhow, I went. I put the list together between the six dollar sockets. Um, that's those, by the way. Um, on down. So here, let me just scan quickly, just to give you an idea. And then I added it all up. I spent two hundred and seventeen seventy-two dollars in total. Um, but I had a set of uh, rims and tires in the um, back barn that somebody gave me and I had no use for. Um, I, I could have put them on my truck. They were 17-inch rims with like rubber band tires. They were made by V-I-O-X or V-O-I-X. The second letter, whether it was O or I, had two dots over it. Anyway, um, two of the tires were marginally good on them, and the other the other two were bald. Somebody ran them um, on the front, and the front was out of alignment, so they they were chafed on the uh, on the in, uh, or on the uh, on the inside pretty good. Um, anyway, so my son sold those for eighty dollars for me, so. Oh, but and this jacket, this camo camo jacket, was uh, five bucks. Guy says he only wore it once, so I believe it. It appears to be in really nice shape. Right. So uh, that was part of the list, also. So there we are. I mean, some of the steels. I've I've always wanted um, an iPad, so I'm I'm really happy to get that right um, I don't think it could pick up internet this far out but, um, came with the charger and all it seems oh maybe it can well we'll see I think it's I think it's too far away but because my router is all the way on the far side of the house I mean, that's a pretty good distance. But, yeah, I, I don't think it's it's going to pick it up. But anyway, that, that was 100 bucks. but I've always wanted an iPad, and I didn't want to spend $500 on it. 450 whatever they go. This is the one that came previous. There's no camera up here. So I'm cool with that. I mean, the trail cams, the pair of them for 8 bucks. I mean, if one of them works, I'm all set. I didn't check them out yet. I didn't spend any time. I'm just just barely unloading the uh, the truck. Yesterday, I I spent at my brother's house at a barbecue, so I didn't I didn't have time to uh, to get any of any of this stuff moving. That's what I'm up to today. So all my bargains. I hope you guys enjoyed the shopping. Yeah, like this was one of the one dollar things, right? A four foot level, and it's it's good, right? It, I put it up against the house, and it is it is finding level. All right, folks. 
once again, I want to thank you all for uh, dropping by and watching and commenting. Y you know, I enjoy all the really positive feedback. Um, folks, I want you all to keep your feet down, keep your heads up. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Many of um, the folks that watch me <coughs> have graduated um, to adulthood where they have their own kids. Congratulations. Happy Father's Day. I hope your kids give you a call, send you a card, take you out to dinner or brunch or something. All right, folks. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, feet down, head up. Please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.